I mean, that's a very simple sort of thing. I mean, our style is derived from its fighting distance. So our fighting distance is here, and everything comes from that. Generally, I think generally, the further you are, you're going to be this button, not me. I think styles further away get a bit more side on. And as you get closer to the studio kind of land, yeah, it might get squarer. Yeah, and our big thing is around, is around here. This is our big area. Yeah. And uh, nearly everything we do in terms of how we're subsequently emphasizing our system, including the fact that we don't punch very much, I mean, it's quite difficult to punch from there. Yeah. So we would be, we'd be more inclined to maybe hit with this sort of with that, because we're up here. But that's because well, we're stuck. Yeah, we can do elbows. Yeah, I mean, we have elbows, but... Elbows is a big emphasis. Some of the castles are elbows. But the, the more interesting stuff is to do with the run and You know, we're interested in making him look like he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> the key to doing this, if anyone visits your school, is say, come to my distance and adopt my stance. And that will negate all your previous training. Because <laughs> you wouldn't be in this distance that starts probably. But, um, yeah, sorry. As, yeah? as far as uh, texts are uh, concerned, texts, yes. yeah, like Mubishi or. Yeah. You, do you have uh, like specific texts that are important to your tradition? Yes. Uh, there are white crane books, uh, qu quite a lot of different white crane books. Uh, the teacher that was mentioned previously, Suin Han, uh, part of his work in the 1980s was collecting those books, some of those books, or parts of books, and publishing them, translating them. Do you like treaties? Uh... Yeah, and in fact in this book, what I've done is I've taken one of Suin Han's books, because it's interesting to read, yeah? It's difficult to translate. This is one of the five books that Suin Han correlated, which I've translated the main, the main section into English as best I can, so you can get a flavor for that. Yeah. Our own Ushuguan has books which are specific to our Ushuguan. Um, yeah. Oh, and oh, if you ask about Kumbishi, you haven't read this yet, have you? Not yet. <laughs> okay. What I've done, I'll explain this because there's a lot of people who have this book don't really get this. Um, you know, you've got that great 48 technique thing with Kumbishi. Yeah? Um, Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the 48 technique names and cross-referenced them in a variety of Chinese sources and people that I know, seeing which ones appear, and then comp compared our performance of them to the illustration of the Bishi. And it results, in my own reckoning, there's about 16 that you could probably say pretty spot on are from our system in the Bishi. If not our specific system, then a white crane system because they're all using the same shared books at some level. Okay. Um, the other thing regarding the Bishi is a section here which I'm not it's called Article 14, page 139. You might want to read it tonight. Yeah, that specifically addresses one of the chapters. The problem with doing the Bishi work is: Have you ever seen the original? Not the original. No. Have you ever seen the Japanese? I've seen maybe pictures of individual pages. Fragments. So you never get to see the bloody Bubishi, so it's very difficult to do a textual analysis. So what you've got to do with the Bubishi is you take an English translation, you look for words which might correspond to stuff that you kind of know, and then I can look at the Chinese text, but then you have to find the Japanese original text to actually say yes, it corresponds. Yeah. Now, in the case of Article 14, you read it make it your own mind. Okay. So it's absolutely spot on white crane stuff. There might be a lot more, but until you can, someone... Yes, yeah, you're, it's, it's a bit of a you're working on someone else's interpretation. So, yeah. Yes, sorry. I'm curious about the name white crane. So to me, like a crane is like an agile, a fragile creature. And what you just demonstrated with me is like a strong beast, a beast, beast. A beast. <laughs> like a yeah. strong bull. Yeah. Be more of, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <you're> so <laughs> cute, Oliver. Only a mum went here. Um, <laughs> White crane, what's, what's the, the crane issue? Is, the issue is that you basically been brought up on Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's child. As the kids come to my class when they start, it's like, what animal are we? And it's like, we're the crane, and they're like, crane's craft. 
Because he's wrapping it behind it, right? It just flies around and deflects. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's a lot more than that, yeah. I've never seen a crane wrestle, but to me, it seems like a wrestling based well. system, which you just demonstrated. Yeah. I mean, we have rules. The Chinese just love wrists, uh, lists, you know, 72 bone techniques, the 36, I don't know, 24 soft techniques, eight Shaolin directions, and I don't know what. Yeah? So we have all these rules. But we do have 10 sort of important words. Speed, power. Word one is, in Spanish, would be cojones. Which in Chinese is gan, which is the, I think it's the bile or something. But do you, do you understand cojones? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. Well, that's rule, our rule one is cojones. And then rule two, forget everything else, strength. <laughs> yeah? And it goes from there. So that's what Southern Crane. And, and if you meet someone who's like, you know, doing their stuff, you know, which wiser people than me laugh at. When people do this sort of thing. <laughs> so, so, the wings. Yeah. I'm not taking the piss if anyone's watching. Um, <laughs> well, you know, you're not taking, mic'd up anyway, so. We would yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laugh at that, you know. So, yeah. So, where does the name come from? Right, because the. This is nice, we're tying up this talk right back at the beginning. <laughs> because the key part of the crane is softening down the kind of. Karate-esque, power-based, very basic, strike, grapple, Tai Zuchen, great ancestor fist, and adding a bit of softness and balance. Yeah? So in comparison to where it's come from, it's softer. I mean, Tai Zuchen is not going to be interested. With tai Zuchen, they're not, they're, not, they're not going to be interested in these kind of things. Yeah? Tai Zuchen is just going to go to slap. You know? Snap, bam. And then suddenly you've got someone going, oh, you didn't know, let me do this. It's interesting how his body moves. I mean, if we've got Oliver, I mean, this is actually a mean, a mean demo, but we hold hands. And you, we just kind of walk each other out. Yeah? You can see how his head's moving up and down, and mine's not. Right? Now, we call that being soft. But it's not really soft, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> we call this being sensitive. <laughs> Sensitive in Chinese is... Uh, figuring out the other guy's balance by the feel of it. Okay. Well, ideally, but... <laughs> yeah. 